Om Shanti, today is your 126th day of your Godly Blessing and in today's Godly Blessing, God wants us, all of us souls to get connected to Him in the right way, in the right manner. We have been in many births going for different pilgrimages, we have been going for different religious occasions, we have travelled throughout the world sometimes in many births, I'm not just talking about this particular birth, in many births God says you have spent a lot of money, you spent a lot of emotions, you have spent a lot of energy looking for me and you have not been able to find me. You've gone to many different gurus, you've gone through many scriptures, you've read the scriptures. The whole world is reading scriptures, but still they are not able to find the truth. Had they found, had they have found the truth, there would be a lot of peace in this world. There would have been a lot of love and a lot of courage amongst souls to bring souls together, to be in a like-minded way of living. But God says, that is not happening. Why? Because you are trying different methods, but there's only one method to get connected to God the Father. That is only when He comes down and reveals who we are, how we have come on this earth, when we came on this earth, and how we get back from here. So God gives us the real knowledge. So He wants us to do, do the same. So let's understand what Baba wants us to do here. <music> Baba says, may you be God's helpers who bring success to tired and desperate souls. The whole world is tired and desperate. Five elements are not supporting us. There's sometimes earthquake, there are viruses, there's certain times there are different calamities which are happening all over the world, be it physical calamities, be it war, be it worldly calamities, climatic calamities. And God says, all the souls are tired, even if they go for a pilgrimage, sometimes in certain pilgrimages, there are certain disasters which happen and many people, many souls, they leave their body. So people, even during their pilgrimages, are not very happy or are not feeling safe. So what's the safest method? What's the right method to get connected? Let's explore that. Baba says souls have had a desire or hope for a long time to go to Nirvana. Nirvana. Nir means no. Vana means sound. A place where we souls have come from. Right now you can listen to my voice, you can hear this sound, but we all souls, without this physical body, imagine, were not of this world. We came from another world. We did not get anything with us, nor are we going to take anything back with us. So God tells us to remember that world. But for that, you have to have the right knowledge of who you are and where exactly have you come from and where you are supposed to return. If I ask you that question, where are you supposed to return? Would you know the answer? No. Where that place is, how does it look? How to return over there? And what that place looks like? What do I need to be ready for to reach that place? Do I need peace? Do I need to be pure enough to reach there? Are all the conditions which Baba wants us to learn. So God tells us that there is a place known as Nirvana. So souls have had a desire or hope for a long time to go to Nirvana or the land of liberation where we souls are liberated from doing karma. And it is for this that they have been making various kinds of spiritual endeavor over many births. I'm not just talking about this birth, Baba says. Baba says you've been doing it for many births. You have even changed your religions in many births. Sometimes you've been a Sikh, sometimes you've turned into a Muslim, sometimes you've turned into a Christian to search for the truth. But none of the ways have allowed you to get connected to the truth which God is. So God says, until unless I come down on earth and I reveal myself to you children who have forgotten themselves, who have forgotten where they've come from, and they are just reading in scriptures and trying to understand or imagine what that world must be. God says, when I come down, only then can you have clarity 100%. So then Baba says, everyone now wants success and not just to make spiritual endeavor. Success means salvation. Success is not just, okay, I've gone through a pilgrimage, now I'm feeling happy. I've gone and taken bath in the Ganges, now I'm happy. Or I've gone to any big... It's a religious gathering and I'm feeling very charged up for a few seconds. You no, know, Baba says it's forever. So success means salvation. And so in order to quench the thirst of thirsty souls, tired and desperate souls, you elevated souls with your power of silence and all your powers have to bring them success in a second. So that's the only way. The method of giving souls power or to receive power is through silence. So until unless you are in silence, you cannot receive success or you cannot receive peace. 
So what is the method of getting connected to God and how to be in silence? Silent doesn't mean that you keep quiet for a long time or you go for a retreat to some place. Silence means that I, the soul, remember that place where I had come from, the Param Dham, the Nirvan Dham, how to connect to that place so that I can be in peace. Then Baba says that you elevated souls with your power of silence and all your powers have to bring them success in a second. It's all about recognizing where I came from, which world was that. And when I get connected to that world, silence comes into my mind. The number of thoughts, they start reducing after you get to know the truth. But if you don't know the truth, if you don't know how many births you've taken, if you don't know how many births you're supposed to take in the future, and when the time comes when Kaluga ends or the world gets changed or as we say Mahakal or Apocalypse or any form of destruction comes till that time, a mind will always be worried or concerned about our kids, about our family, about the wealth, about the property and many more things It will never be at rest. So God comes down, he reveals that now the world is going to change. And when we get that knowledge, that's the time our mind settles down. Okay, now the time for rest has come. It's not the time for expansion anymore. Then God says that you elevated souls will with your power of silence and all your powers have to bring them success in a second you would then be said to be God's helpers. Only then can we be said to be God's helpers. But for that, I first myself have to be in silence. I first myself have to learn the method of silence and get the power and get the powers to overcome the weaknesses within. We all have weaknesses. We overcome them. There's a complete boxing match which happens in the mind between good and evil. It's within the mind itself. And sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. We have to again stand up again refreshing ourselves up and again fight back and God says only when you are in silence can you get that power to fight back if you are looking for answers in the scriptures in the pilgrimages where there's a there's no silence where there's too much of expansion of the thoughts whereas you have to sit in complete silence and be in connection with God that's when you are going to get the powers what is that method we learn it at Brahma Kumaris I hope whenever the lockdowns open up you are able to Go to Brahma Kumari centers, learn the seven day meditation course and then go ahead with the further education at the same centers and find peace and find the truth. That means find God because God is searching for you right now at this moment also. I leave you with this beautiful blessing. Have a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay home. Om Shanti.